Yeah, I was just watching the Port Adelaide and West Coast game, Hutchie, and I'm really conscious of the fact that you can't label a, a, an AFL player overweight now for the backlash that will come with that. But I was watching Elliot Yo's performance on the weekend and his lack of impact in the game, and then I noticed him come to the bench. And then there was this, but then there was the way that it, he'd presented himself. Now, clearly out of shape, and his standards have slipped at West Coast. And I think across the board... I look at Taylor Walker and his comeback. Now, Darren Burgess is the high-performance manager at the Crows. I know him well because he had it as Port, at Port Adelaide. He was as strict on skin folds as any person I've ever met to the point where one day he had us all take our tops off and have our skin folds done in front of each other and there were significant penalties for anyone who was above 60. I reckon across the board, standards have slipped and he shouldn't be playing if he presents like that. And that could be one of the reasons why West Coast are in the position that they're in. Four touches again before he was subbed out on the weekend. He's missed 24 games. He's, he's, play, he's played 24 games in the last three years. He's always injured. He's he, been he, he injured has to get fit. And his body's been a challenge, though, hasn't it? Absolutely. For no fault of his own. Well, maybe it is through... I don't know, but that could be through fault of his own. I just think some players can present themselves as full-time athletes when their body is their one tool a lot better than what they have. I'm taking Yo out of it because I haven't studied it like Kane has, but if you're injured, Hutch, you're still... You're full-time professional, so you can stay that fit uh, even if you're not playing AFL football. He didn't... I mean, I... I don't know what I'm talking about. Clearly, he didn't look that unfit he looked, there to he me. He looked out of shape to me. Can I say so that? when, when you interview man. a footy boss or a coach or a manager of some sort, um, is the code now unfit or they need to get fit or they're out of shape? Well, I don't know what the code is, but we used to call it fat club. That's just what it was called. If you're above six, if you're above 60 skin folds, you had to do... I don't extra. think you can call it that well, anymore. Well, that's what we used to. That's what, uh, and it's and, over. and I, know, I know it's over, but I'm just telling you the experience that, that we live through. I noticed now that they're not doing skin fold tests at the draft camp, and that may be fine for... Uh, kids that are, aren't professional yet, but once you get into the AFL system, your body is your only weapon, and you've got to present yourself with elite standards. The best players do. Look at Taylor Walker and his return, and how he's presented himself after not playing for so long.